So here's my official verdict for NBA 2K. Okay, but in all seriousness, like, let's keep it a buck fifty. The reason why I am doing this quote unquote first impressions or whatever is because I it's like, at this point, I just have to get this off of my chest, dude. And on top of that, I know this video is going to disappoint a lot of 2K fans out there and all that. Like, at the end of the day, do I personally care? In my opinion, I honestly don't. So therefore, if you disagree with my opinion somehow, then hey, to each their own. That's fine. I'm just letting you guys know off rip about how I feel about this game. So let's just get this out the way, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to start off the video like this. NBA 2K25 is a game that merely exists for the sake of marketing, brand deals, collaborations with other celebrities and social media influencers, urban commentary, um, urban meta culture, script storylines that somehow don't make as much sense. And mind you, this is a free trial, by the way. So if you don't know, last year I had the free trial with last year's game and I reviewed both versions. However, this time around, they only allowed us to try out the PS5 version, in which at the end of the day, like I said, I don't really care. I could care less, okay? So from how much I've been playing it so far, and mind you, I don't have a all the way complete opinion at least right now so once i play this game a lot more in the near future in which i completely doubt it but if i do manage to play the game more later on down the road then eventually i will form a more formal opinion if you will but for the moment being from how much i've been playing it again the trial is mad short it's like two hours and so i only clocked in two hours of attempting to play this game so for for the moment being from how much i have played this game right now not much is too different like i mean you do have the jersey swaps in which i have yet to do because i'm still a rookie mind you i'm still a 60 overall nonetheless so i don't have the jersey swap feature unlocked at least right now i noticed that the what you call it the backstory games in which you will see later on in this very video is also a brand new thing i mean the idea has been used for like how many years now my god um i feel like they have been <laughs> it's crazy i feel like since then it's so hard to explain and give out a cohesive opinion at the same time as i'm doing right now but to simply put it they've used this college slash high school aspect of the my career for too long no matter what generation of consoles players are playing the game in guaranteed they have been using this idea for far too long and i feel like at this point it has pretty much overstayed its welcome because it was a brand new thing from back in the day and they bring it back like every now and again to the point where it's like bro outside of high school or college like what else can you do aside from that you know what i mean i know people are going to be saying oh what do you expect is high school but like bro if you look at it from a certain angle it's like all they're giving us is high school games and college games and flashbacks from our parents you know mainly our dad from 2k24 i remember that being a thing you know so at this point i feel like the high school idea for my career has been played out for far too long in my opinion at the very least so thankfully i went into this game for the moment being with little to no expectations for improvements whatsoever because i had a feeling deep down that of course 2k would do little to barely any changes or improvements for this game and this game in particular so therefore i didn't expect too much and thankfully i didn't okay so i don't know how everyone else thinks about the my career stuff they added this year so yeah let's just say your mileage may vary on some aspects of the mode okay let's just say that but anyway i made me a build 
I made a lockdown defender because I wanted to replicate that same build I had from 2K20 way back when with the two-way finisher, my goaded build to this day, my son. And so this is the build right here. I made this the closest as I could get to that build and even then this build even if it's a 60 overall which is expected because when starting out as a 60 overall it is apparent that your player must suck because apparently you have to build your player from the ground up and stuff like that so i kind of knew my player at the time would not do much but Bro, I'm not sure if it's either the overall in particular or the animation slash movements has been buffed. But dude, playing as a small forward these days sucks, bro. Like, I promise you, the speed is just impalpable, but not in a good way either. It's like, dude, the movements are a lot slower. It's like, at this point, I'm playing a center position it felt like rather than being a small forward now that's just me i'm not sure how different it is for everybody else who played the game already but for me in particular i just feel like the defender role slash small forward role or whatever has gotten significantly worse at this point like i have no idea what has happened to the beloved small forward build i felt like i was nearly unstoppable five six years ago all of that is in the past now i feel like i i just don't know what's going on with these player builds these days nor how much they have changed these builds because it is getting ridiculous the more i even look back at it okay just the thought of it makes me stutter shout out to Stephen a for that quote anyway moving on um i got a feel for the quote-unquote fake Gameplay improvements with the pro play mechanics and listen, I said this before I think and guaranteed I will say it again If you have played one NBA 2k game so far this gen guaranteed it feels like you have played them all Okay, so not much is different gameplay wise from how much I've played it Like I said, then they have the dynasty list for my career Which is another thing they added this year the goat tier is still a thing I don't know why they are bringing that back. That's just random and weird and peep this They allowed you to edit your mic core, but get this you can only do the wall. You can only change the quote-unquote theme, which is the wall for your mic core. Do you want to know something? I remember a time back in the day to where you can not only change the wall, but they allowed you to change the court's design. You know, the hardwood floor. I'm talking the rim, the backboard, even the net. They allowed you to change the color and material, I think, of the net itself. I Again, I didn't expect much from this game whatsoever, so make no mistake about it. However, looking back, it literally is a bummer to see how they added that feature back, but they only allowed you to change a theme, which is the wall. I'm not sure if you have to unlock other features in order to customize your mic core entirely or what. I, I have no idea. And even if that's the case, it's like, bro, they wasted so much potential for that feature to even make its own return in this game. But for what reason? If that's the case, you know what I mean? So playing my career, same thing as usual, not too much to expect. I didn't touch online yet. I didn't touch my team. I didn't touch. And honestly, I was thinking about playing a little bit of blacktop at one point or even the WNBA mode, you know, just for the sake of having variety in the game or whatever. But at that point, I was kind of bored to where after the first hour and a half, I was just getting a bit tired of playing the game. And again, I didn't do much with this free trial from PlayStation Plus, so this was a total ripoff of my quote unquote experience, if you want to call it that. So I could only say so much about this game, it's not even funny. But yeah, man, all in all, I'm sitting here on the floor recording this because I'm thinking about my life choices after playing this game. Like, what other parts of hope do i have left for this game that's the only question i have in my mind to think about okay but at least i got nba 2k25 on mobile 
coming soon to the channel so expect that to be dropping at some point this week so yeah nba 2k25 what else is there for me to say aside from the things that i have mentioned not much is that different from previous years by all means please don't pay full price for this game trust me i didn't so therefore it will be a true lifesaver trust me and with that being said i'm out